Good morning, viewers. Welcome to the Devotions for this morning. Topic for this morning: Indrances to productive fasting and prayers. Host my humble self. Look at key text taken from Isaiah 58, 3 to 5. Topic one more time: Indrances to productive fasting and prayers. Host look at key text Isaiah 58, 3 to 5. Holy Spirit, for me. Father, we thank you for the bread in our nostrils. It is a privilege to be alive this morning. We've come to hear from you this morning, but we are speak to us and grant us understanding. And as I chapter 9, verse 8, you send the word unto Jacob and enlighten it unto a nation of Israel today. Send the word unto my heart, and according to James, grant me grace to come to us of your words and not hear us, nor read us only for Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Topic one more time hindrances to productive fasting and prayers. Host, look at key text taken from Isaiah 58, 3 to 5. I read from verse 3. Wherefore have we fasted, say they? And thou seest not, wherefore have we afflicted our soul, and thou takest not knowledge? Behold, in the day of your fast, that's the reply from God, ye find pleasure and exact all your labors. Said in verse 4, Behold, ye fast for strife and debate, that will be you in Jesus' name, and to smite with the feast of wickedness. Ye shall not fast as ye do this day, to make your voice to be high on high. Said in verse 5, Is it such a fast that I have chosen? A day for a man to afflict his soul? Is it to bow down his head as a brush and to spread sackcloth and ash under him? Said, Would thou call this a fast and an acceptable day to the Lord? I pray uh, fasting will be acceptable unto the Lord in the name of Jesus. If you have time, you can read for that. To tell them the kind of fast that you expect from them. And I pray to so read for them who have lied in my life in the name of Jesus for that reading. Daniel chapter 10 from verse 12 to 14 said, Then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel. That's the angel speaking to Daniel. He said, For from the first day that thou didst said, I had to understand, that is to pray, to chastise that said before the Lord, thy words were heard, and I am come for thy word. That is, I have heard your petition, and I bring your word, your answer, says in verse 13. But the prince of the kingdom of Pasha withstood me one and twenty days. But lo, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me. And I remain there with the king of Pasha. And the verse 14 said, Now I am come to make thee understand. That means I have come to give you your answers. What shall be for thy people in better days? For yet the vision is for many days. I pray. Whatever you've been asking God for, today God will answer you in the name of Jesus. But I read in John 9 31 said, Now we know that God hearing not sinners. But if any man be a worshiper of God and do it his way, he heareth him. So the meaning is that interest is also a sinner is naturally being hindered to be heard of the Lord. Also, if you are not a worshiper, you can be heard. If you don't do his will, you can be heard. But when you do his will, then he hears you. That's according to what we read down in John 9, 31. First John chapter 5, 13 to 15 said, This thing is I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. Said in verse 14. And this is the confidence that we have in him. That if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us, said in verse 15. And if we know that he heareth us, whatsoever we ask, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desire of him. I pray all your petitions that you ask God on the altar of prayer and fasting. God grant your answers in the name of Jesus. Topic one more time, hindrances to productive fasting and prayers. Post Luke K text as I have 58, 3 to 5 for the in Daniel chapter 10, 12 to 14, John 9, 3 to 1, 1 John 5, 13 to 15. Please only beg you at the leisure time. Read the scriptures again. You'll be blessed in Jesus' name. Thinking cap, a mind blowing word for this morning is prayers without answers. Prayers without answers is so frustrating, like watering without a seed. I take it again. Prayers without answers is so frustrating, like watering without a seed. Think about this. Today we'll look at the topic hindrances to productive fasting and prayers, which are double as our teaching series for the week of the remaining days of the month. I pray you remain connected with us. You will be blessed in Jesus' name. First, by introduction, let's understand that hindrances are all devices of the devil. Resistance by default comes with nature, but human resistance comes from the power of darkness. At every stage of a man's life, there are barriers, there are hindrances, there are distractions and temptations. But it takes the power of fasting and prayers to dislodge all the devices of the devil and of all his agents. Remember, Jesus told the disciples, he said, We could not cure other little 
demon. Why? Jesus said, because we don't believe. Say, how be this guy going not out but by fasting and prayers? So it takes the power of fasting and prayers to dislodge all the devices of the devil and of all these agents. Beloved, let's know that we can maximize seasons of fasting and prayers into great experts and testimonies if we can delete all the hindrances and distractions along our path of destiny. I pray the grace to delete the, the, the grace to dislodge and to keep far all the hindrances and distractions along your path will be released to you this morning in the name of Jesus. And as you walk in this truth, I see you having amazing testimonies on the prayer and fasting altar in the name of Jesus. Remember our father Jacob in Genesis 32, 22, 29, he took on the prayer and fasting altar. He sent away all his people and he was left alone. And we saw him. Praise the Lord. He said, and he rose up and he rose up that night and took his two wives and his two women servants and his eleven sons and passed over the fort by Jabok and it was start 23 and he took them and sent them over to the pool and sent them over to the earth and Jacob was left alone verse 24 and Jacob was left alone and they arrested him with him until the breaking of the day he began to pray Lord bless me change my name and it was 25 when he saw that he prevailed not against Jacob he touched the hollow of his thigh and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint and he wrestled with him and verse 26 and he said let me go for the day but he said I'll not let you go I said Lord bless me and he said, what is your name? He said, Jacob said, your name shall be called Israel. What the nation of Israel needs to become today? He said, for thou hast power with man and with God and have prevailed. And he blessed him. I pray. As you bend down on your knees to pray, God will bless you in return in the name of Jesus. Exodus 34, 27 to 35. And the Lord said to Moses, write down this word. For after the tenor of this word, I have made a covenant with thee. And with Israel, said in verse 28. And he was there with the Lord forty days and forty nights. He eat either eat anything or drink water, and he wrote upon the table the words of the covenant, ten commandments. Look at where I'm going in verse twenty nine. And it came to pass when Moses came down from Mount Sinai for the two tables of testimonies in Moses' hand. When he came down from the mount of Moses, was not that the skin of his face shone when he talked with them. The glory of the Lord radiated all around Moses. I pray as you go, you need to pray as you fast upon God for a particular issue. The glory of the Lord will cocoon you in the name of Jesus. You have testimonies to show in the name of Jesus. In verse 30, and when Aaron and all children of Israel saw Moses, behold, the skin of his face shone, and they were afraid to come near. No one would do you hurt by the encounter of God's glory that you are catching up this morning. No one shall do you hurt in the name of Jesus. And 105, 13 to 15 will be your song by the testimony going forward. In the name of Jesus, but started once that Moses called unto them and Aaron and all the rulers, he has to put a veil and cover his face. You can complete that scripture down to verse 35. Please pardon me because of time. Look to the four from verse 1 to 15. When Jesus was baptized after his baptism, Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan. Remember when he was baptized in Jordan by John the Baptist? The Holy Ghost descended upon him with an evidence. He said, This may be love son. Hear him. He said, in whom I am well, well, well pleased. So the Holy Ghost came on Christ. And in verse 40, sorry, Luke chapter 4, verse 2 now said, Being 40 days tempted of the devil. And in those days he did eat nothing. And when they were ended, he afterward hungered. So temptations, barriers along the path of the destiny came around. The devil himself came, trying to tempt him. He said in verse 3, and the devil said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, command these stones to be made bread. Because he knew that Jesus was hungry. So when the devil knows you need money, you send temptation. This is money, steal it, give you a reason to do evil. Good reasons. Because Jesus had good reason to turn that stone to bread because he was hungry. But Jesus refused. Jesus said in verse 4, and Jesus answered and said, It is written, Thou shalt not live by bread alone, but that every word of God. Said in verse 9. And you brought him, you know, to the high, to Jerusalem, and set him on the pinnacle of the temple, and said unto him, Thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down from ten. Said in verse 10, for it is written, he will give his angel charge over thee. And Jesus said in verse 11, and in their hands he said, He will bear you up and all that. And in verse 12, Jesus answered and said unto him, It is said, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. And in verse 13, and when the devil ended all the temptation, ended all the hindrances of destruction, he departed from him for a season. I pray the devil will depart from you, not just for a season, but forever in the name of Jesus. Meaning, each time he comes, you are prepared. Each time he comes, you are prepared. That will be your portion in the name of Jesus. You will not follow in temptation going forward in the name of Jesus. Every hindrance of your prayers is today being shattered in Jesus' name. 
and in verse 14 and jesus returned in the power of the spirit into galilee and he went out and fame throughout all the region round about he taught in the synagogue and he was glorified of all you be glorified of all men in the name of jesus very quickly let's cut this subtopic evil entrances of a productive person in prayer life what are the evil entrances of a productive prayer and fasting life first we're looking at the evil entrances of what prayerlessness the evil entrances of prayerlessness what do i mean this is waiting on the Lord without a sufficient periodic prayer lifestyle, which definitely will limit your productivity of our prayer and fasting season. I think that again, we're looking at the evil hindrances of productive fasting and prayer life, and we're dwelling on the evil hindrances of prayerlessness. That means waiting on the Lord without a sufficient periodic prayer lifestyle, which definitely will limit the productivity of our seasons of fasting. And prayers, but I pray that will not be a portion in Jesus' name. Genesis chapter 32, from verse 20 to 29, we see how Jacob wrestled with the angel of the prayer, fasting altar, until he had a change of name from Jacob to Israel, and he was blessed. And today, we pray the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is our God. Don't forget, Nehemiah chapter 1, verse 1 down to 11, talking about the great man called Nehemiah. He was a servant. In the king palace was a copyright that's all that you could see in his cv when he had that you know, his his nation was broken down he said in verse two name magic but one verse two now said then that anani one of my brethren came he said men of judah and I asked them concerning the jews that I escaped, which were left of the captivity and concerning jerusalem and he said unto me the remnant that are left of the captivity are in, are in promise are in great affliction and reproach the wall of Jerusalem also is broken down, and the gates therefore is the burned with fire. And it came to pass in verse 4 when I had this word that I sat down and I wept and I mourned certain days and fasted and prayed before the God of heaven. And of course, God had him. And in first name, chapter 4, verse 16, 52 days the world was completed. And look at distractions that came there apart. In name, chapter 4, from verse uh, 12, there about Sembalat and the rest of them came. They wanted to stop the wall. Look a while from verse 7. For it came to pass that when Sambalat and Tobia and the Arabians and the Ammonites and the Ashdomites heard that the walls of Jerusalem they were made up and that the bracket began to be stopped, they were very angry, they were very old. And they conspired in verse 8, all of them that had to come and to fight against Jerusalem and to hinder it. Not to hinder your fulfilling destiny in life in the name of Jesus, not to hinder your business and your career and your academics in Jesus, not to. We hinder your wedding and your marriage this year in Jesus' name. Verse 9 said, Nevertheless, we need our prayer unto our God and set a watch against them day and night. So it's one thing to praise and write it what set a watch. I pray the grace to set a watch over what you're praying on will be your portion in Jesus' name. When we saw them, they were fighting at night and they were what building in the daytime. So they were guards to themselves in the night and of course they were what labor in the daytime. He said, No one took up his own. No one thought close to for washing, save only for washing. I pray, labor in your hand, the work of God in your hand will not be stopped in the name of Jesus. Look at Matthew 4 21 said, So we labored in the walk, and half of them held the spears from the rising of the morning to the stars appeared. And the two said, Likewise, at the same time, said, I will the people. Let everyone who have a lot to live in Jerusalem that in the night they will be cut and labor on the day. Look at his testimony. Verse 23. So neither I nor my brethren nor my father, nor the men of the guard which follow me, none of us put up our clothes, saving that everyone put it off for washing. So if you want to command our son in the Lord in life, you must give great sacrifices like the one that will see Nehemiah pay the price. God will grant you the standing to do such in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 3, down to 5, of the anchor scripture, we saw there, they began to come that we have been fasting, have you not seen it? We have prayed, have you not seen it? The Lord said, you have fast for strife, you have fast to show people that you are fasting. The Lord, no answers for you. He began to tell them the recommendation, the kind of fast, that they should fast. Mark chapter 11, verse 20, 26, of course, he said, when he was praying, teaching, let me read that. Mark chapter 11 from verse 20 to 26. He said, And in the morning, 
as he departed, he saw the fig tree dried up from the wood, and Peter told the remembrance, said unto him, Master, because the fig tree without process is without wood. And Jesus answered, said unto them, Have faith in God, for verily I say unto you, that whatsoever that shall say unto this mount, whosoever sits this mount, be that removed and be that cast into the sea, and all that in his heart, but shall believe in those things which he said, shall not pass, said he, shall have whatsoever he said. Wherefore I say unto you, whatsoever things ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them. And ye have them when ye stand to forgive anyone that will hurt you. So, in other instances, if you don't forgive people, automatically your prayers is being hindered. God will grant you grace to forgive and the prayer right in the name of Jesus. First Thessalonians chapter 5, from verse 16 down to verse 19, he said, Pray without season. We should all pray without season. For this is the need that God. Rejoice in verse 16 said to rejoice in one more pray without hope, without seed. Said in everything, give thanks for the will of God and he has constantly used. He said, Quench not the spirit, so we can't quench the spirit of prayer and fasting. Go on the understanding of the subject in Jesus' name. So, topic one more time evil hindrances of a productive personal prayer life. We're looking at the evil hindrances of prayerlessness. We said, This is waiting on the Lord without a sufficient period of prayer lifestyle. Definitely. But limit and hinder, hinder the productivity of our prayer and fasting season. In Genesis chapter 32, 22, 29, read the account of Jacob, Nehemiah, Nehemiah, Nehemiah chapter 1, 1 to 11, Nehemiah 4, 7 to 23, and Isaiah, Isaiah 58, 3 to 5, Mark 11, 20 to 26, Jesus and Peter there, and Luke 4, 1, 15, Jesus there, and Luke 18, 1, 10, men, all others to prayer, not to faint, the first of Solomon chapter 5, verse 16 to 19. Lastly, let's understand that without adequate, sufficient prayers, our fasting will just be efforting fitness. Remember, it is prayers that give value to our fasting. It is what prayers that give value to our fasting. So each time you fast, you don't pray. You're only on a longer strap. You're only saving your money for food. You're only wasting your time. Meaning, you have to work to pray simultaneously, simultaneously as you fast. You can put down your prayer hour in the morning, mid, mid morning, afternoon, late afternoon, late evening, then in the night hour. Push. Make sure you put your prayer request by prayers when you fast, and then you have amazing results. However, let's understand that if we not sit and cry, prayers will just be body. If our fast will be a body, we can't even fast when we are sick. Or until you are saved in Christ, then your prayers, the fast altar will not make meaning. As I call you to say yes to Jesus in truth, and you want to pray with you, you want to say yes to Jesus, you want your prayer to what to be to ascend to heaven, what with the result to show you want to pray with you. Don't forget, first of all, five seven they say pray without season. So we're going to pray without season. And they said, This time we're not out of our fasting prayer. That I shall still Christ have redeemed us from the cause of our Lord. You want to say yes to Jesus? Repeat this prayer after me. Jesus, I come to you this morning. I'm a sinner for my sins. I know you come to yourself and I said you died. On the third day you rest from freedom. Right now, Jesus, I confess you to be my Lord and my Savior. Have mercy upon me. Wash me with your blood and purify me. Right now, in the book of life. Grant me the grace to fast and to pray. Consistently for Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. We take two prayers. I'm sure you pray, Father, all through my fasting season, empower me to pray with my season. Destroy every prayer disease in around me in the name of Jesus. Pray with us in the and give the parable to them to this end that men are always to pray and not to pray. And not to pray. The greatest prayer not to pray to be upon them, Jesus. Please understand, the Father, all through my fasting. Season and power me to pray with us and destroy the prayer disease in our own name. In the name of Jesus, thank you for hearing me. Last prayer, Father, deliver the saint in Nigeria and Africa from any prayer disease in the name of Jesus. Matthew chapter 26, verse 40, 41 said, And he comes unto the disciples and find them sleeping. I said to Peter, What will you know what would me one hour? Walk and pray. They enter not into the situation. The spirit is really flesh is weak. But deliver the saint in Nigeria and Africa from any prayer disease in the name of Jesus. Thank you very much for Jesus. We pray, Jeremy, we pray to pray. We share this with us. We bless Jesus. Please come up with him for the poor. Uh, stop us as an old man. God bless you. I will send the right talk. Did you say God bless you in Jesus?